So in this video, I want to show a new situation I made. So let's have a look. So we'll go to free flight situations. And you can see that there's two buttons, ILS A and ILS B. In your version, it might be called ILS 1 and 2. So if we go to ILS A or ILS 1, you can see that this is the normal situation as before downwind ILS situation but if we go to the other one LSB or LS2 then you can see that this is actually a new airport here let me just pause it the altitude restrictions are different also and let's do an altitude calculation so let's start with 20 20 miles running down so 20 times 3 is 6000 feet and we're doing 250 knots so we should fly uh, 2000 feet lower so we should be at 4,000 feet. But this is five miles, so we add 1,500 feet. So that's uh, 5,500 feet. So we're 500 feet too high. Now that would be okay, within reason. So we should start slowing down now. But let's see what happens if we don't do that. So let's continue. Let me just speed up a bit. So here we can descend. So let's um, set the next altitude. So it's 3,000 feet. So 3,000 feet here. Speed up again. And let me just go to descend mode. Okay, so constraint is in blue. And down it goes. Right. Now let me, we should uh, apply the speed brake now because we're way too high, but let's see what happens if we don't do that. So continue. You can see that there's a QAR warning here. We exceeded the speed at 250 knots below the fly level 100. That's due to the turbulence. Okay, speed up again. And let's arm the approach. Uh, first activate the approach phase and then arm the approach. Now it starts slowing down. Okay, now it looks like at this moment that not too bad. Let me just pause it right there. Because we are uh, one dot below the glide slope, near green dot, we could select flap one here, a bit high on energy. It doesn't look too bad. However, let's do that. So we continue, I select flap one. And now you can see it's actually captured the glide slope, but on green dot speed, uh, pass it, and it starts to accelerate. Let me just pause it. Now, why is that? That is because the uh, glide slope is actually bent. In reality, you have this also, that the glide slope signal is uh, sometimes not accurate unless you're on the localizer. And that's all, that is also the case here. So the glide slope sit, uh, indication we got earlier is actually um, not so uh, accurate. And we are actually higher than it looks like we are. That's why it's pitching down now and it starts to accelerate. So this is not the situation you want to be in. Okay, so let's go back to the initial situation here. And let's do that again. So we calculated before that at this moment we are 500 feet too high. So we should start to slow down. So let's... Let's activate the approach phase. That will put the thrust at idle. And let me just accelerate, uh, speed up a bit here. And we can set the uh, next altitude, 3000 feet. Let's go to descend mode. And now it's gonna descend, alt constraint. Descent alt blue. And thrust idle. So now let's do a calculation when it reaches 20 miles here. Now we can actually do it now. So 20 miles, so 20 times three. So that's 6,000 feet and we're at green dot. So 1,000 feet lower, so we should be at 5,000 feet. Okay, so we're still 800 feet too high. Okay, so let's continue. So what we can do is uh, speed up, right? Because before we slow down because we, are, we cannot descend and now we can descend, so we should speed up. Okay, so let's select the speed and select 250 knots increase the speed a bit okay okay so now we should start um, slowing down again because we have to be 210 below 3000 some companies have that limitation okay, let me just use vertical speed to um, reduce the speed a bit quick 
let's fly level a bit here. Speed up a bit. We can arm the approach. And let's go descending again. Okay, so past 15 miles already, we can select flap one. Right there. Now looking at the distance, you know you want to be at uh, 3,000 feet at uh, 10 miles at S speed. So it looks like we're still a bit higher energy, but it's certainly a lot better than before. Let's just speed up again. Okay, Superstar, so now we're below VV. Next up, so we can select flap two. Okay, so it's not ideal. It's still a bit high on energy, um, but we did manage to get on the approach without speed break. Which, by the way, is not the aim. If you need speed break, you should use it. 2,500. So now, if I just speed up a bit more, like that. Okay, we're still high on energy, so at 2,500 feet, if you're fast, let's say above 180 knots, you should put the gear down. Okay, so gear down. Okay, we can uh, select more flaps, flap three, and then flap full. Let's speed up a bit more. And then at a thousand feet, we should be stable. There you go. So already stable. Okay, so let's do that again. And this time use some speed break. So go here again. Right away, start slowing down because we already calculated we are high or high on energy rather. And set the next altitude. Okay, alt constraint, piece of blue. And speed up a bit. Now, if you calculate you're still a bit high here, or higher energy, you could select flap one, but if you do that, you cannot increase the speed more later, and we're still kind of far away, so it's better to use speed brake in this case, just to prevent from flying too slow. And as soon as we can descend, it will do that automatically because it's in out constraint mode. There it goes, descend all blue. And we can calculate again here, 20 miles, 6,000 feet, 1,000 feet to slow down. So we should get 5,000 feet. We can see that already see that we're high. So we're gonna use speed brake. But of course, VLS will come up. So first we're gonna select the flap one and select the speed and then use the speed brake. This is a 320, so we can only use half speed, speed brake. Okay, so now, I'm gonna speed up a bit. And when we're at 15 miles, we can select flip one. Oh, flip one already. I mean, slow down to F S speed. Okay, so now you can see this warning air speed brake in use because we're, okay, let me just pause it right there. So why did this warning speed brake uh, started flashing amber? Because we we're in descent mode and we came back on the yo-yo and but the speed is selected so if it does that it can actually add trust which it does here you see that okay so now we should manage the speed so let's do that and pause it and manage the speed so now the speed target becomes s speed and it will force the trusted idle again okay so let's speed up again with here Star. So you can see actually we didn't need the speed brake that long because we're already flying level here. 2,500. Anyway, let's arm the approach. Speed up again here. Oh, I forgot the speed brake. Oops. Okay, speed brake retracted now. And it will intercept the localizer soon. There we go. And when it shows uh, one dot below the glide slope, we can select flap two. So now it's uh, the approach is uh, not high on energy anymore. Glide slope star. Set the go around altitude. And speed up again. Now this time we're not fast, so we can wait for 2,000 feet to put the gear down. So 
So gear down here. And then we can uh, select flap three and flap full. You can also see that the um, the red up is not the same as the uh, indicated altitude. And that's I made that on purpose. It's actually a sloped uh, it's sloped terrain, so you cannot trust the uh, red up. So you really have to look at the either the distance or the altitude here. Oh, there's one more thing I want to mention is that the app is now also available in the Microsoft Store for Windows and also on the Mac OS Store for the desktop Mac. Okay, so we're now we're flying a stable approach. That's it. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.